All right. First topic I want to talk about is um, is uh, how important is it to advertise? Now, I got this, and I, these these topics are based on some of the questions and stuff that I have been receiving and stuff here lately. But I get a lot of people asking me, "How often do I advertise? Do I advertise or not? Do I advertise?" This? Okay, guys. So. I don't, me, myself, I don't advertise in wedding wire in the knot. Here's, and this is just my opinion, and others will tell you differently, as all people have opinions. I, I use majority word of mouth and um, Google as my two tools that keep me busy. All the gigs that I have set up, for the fall, winter, winter, spring, which is pretty much September through April, we're all booked this way. And I only have three three weekends, maybe four, um, during that whole time period off. And two of those are holidays, Christmas and Thanksgiving. So it's not that you have to advertise a certain way. I just think that what I've built over time has allowed for me to have people in my life, like coordinators or photographers or other DJs or um, Google reviews and things like that, that have allowed me to be able to capture more gigs. I've gotten more gigs and I've got a lot of people who are on the fence stuff now. I mean, I've got, I think 13 people, who have reached out just this summer for gigs for next year and some this year and stuff like that. But these are all word of mouth or or they're looking at Google and you just have to have your, um, your search uh, tools and stuff set up. You have to have your, it's not analytics. I forget what it is. Search terms. Okay. So like, you know, DJs in my area, DJs near me, um, entertainment near me, DJ services, you know, things like this trigger your business. And if you have um, the more recent or more of the reviews and stuff on Google, usually it's going to put you at the top of the list, sometimes over some bigger companies. Uh, So I've just been blessed to be able to have that, but I do not, I repeat, I do not advertise on the knot and on where wedding wire. I think that that is for multi-ops. I think that multi-ops benefit more from those because those are constant leads. Whereas mine are, well, if they think about me, they'll, they'll send the lead to me. But like I said, I've built such a rapport to that's what they do. (laughs) Whenever they get a wedding, they're like, what do you want? Band a DJ. They say, DJ, I'm the first person on their brain. Uh, That's just something I've built. Um, But if you are new to this and you want to advertise, social media is a great way to advertise who, what bride is not on social media. Um, And I'm just giving you free to inexpensive ways. Um, Google is always a great way to advertise. Um, And all you have to do is just, you know, pretty much put a company. If you're going to have a company, you have to put a company on uh, Google and they will list you, and then you just have to start getting reviews. And um, I think you could do Yelp. I think it's Yelp. And then at you know when you're going to some of these expos and things like that, especially the DJ Expo that's coming up, I would network. You know, networking and going and being around other DJs when they can't do it, they'll pass over stuff to you. So I would definitely look at all my alternatives to be able to get more gigs, get more opportunities. And then, you know, you, th- this is how you come out of the gate. This is how you start. You know, a lot of people ask me how you start. The first thing I would recommend is going under a larger company and then letting them know that eventually you're going to go off on your own. But you learn when you're in a company that the machine that is a company will advertise for you. Then you just learn how to advertise from that and then that's how you kind of build rapport and do things like that. But that's that's the easiest way for you to be able to get the cheapest and easiest advertisement available. So you don't have to spend, cause I, I, if I'm not mistaken, wedding wire and the knot, they're like 
a thousand, fifteen hundred, three thousand, something like that for you to pay. It's it's some absurd number for you to pay for you to maybe get a lead from it. Now, if you charge a certain amount from that, like if you charge two thousand dollars for the function, then you know maybe it's worth it. You get it back in one shot. But I just haven't I haven't heard a lot of single ops get a lot of leads that turn into functions or events that they haven't gotten from coordinators, photographers, venues, social media, things like that. I've heard more of that side than I have of the other side. But you guys let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys think in the um in the comments and stuff below. And we'll discuss it because that's what we always do. We discuss it. <laughs> um, I did want to show you this, just in case you thought that I was lying. I want to show you a graph here. This is my HoneyBook graph. And I hope I'm not right in the way. I probably am. Let me see if I can take myself down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. I want you to look at this graph. This graph shows where I get the majority of my leads and stuff from. So if you think I'm lying... Here it is right here. The majority of my leads come from vendor referrals. What's the number two? Google. What's number three? Clients who I've already had done a function for before. What's number four? Repeat clients. It's just over and over again. And then you have stuff like Instagram and other stuff. But this is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, this is like, I, I'm not lying when I say this. This is how I get my leads. And if anybody is interested in HoneyBook, they track all this stuff. They send out a lot of my paperwork. Like, I don't have to do a lot of hands on. I just have to put it together and then I get to, <laughs> I get to let it do its thing. But there's a link down below if you guys want to try out HoneyBook. But yeah, just, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, look, like, I, I think the only reason that I created a personal website was just, to make sure to give clients a peace of mind that I am legitimately who I am because I don't get anything from my website. I don't like, I have an avenue for people to go there so that you can see stuff. So I have, you know, visual aids and stuff there, but for the most part, it's vendor referrals guys. <laughs> it's vendor referrals. I get a lot of people recommending me and then Google does its job like it's supposed to and goes right behind it. 